there is a problem, lack of access to information. Traditionally, the sources of information were libraries, well-resourced health centers, which are not available these days for many reasons. Now, PDAs are what they use as end users. The objective of the project is to improve data collection processes for health management information system. The second objective is to send health information for better health management of the patients here from Kampala to the health workers. And our role as a Uganda Charity Health Net is uh, to implement this project. Most of them in the field do not have books to read, they don't get journals, they do, can't get new information, but as soon as we get it, we send it to them. So they have improved their care in terms of their uh, clinical ability as well as the, their knowledge. We are based at the Faculty of Medicine in Mulago. It's the country's biggest medical library. But it's very under-resourced. There are no books, current books. You can then imagine what would be in uh, far-flung places like health centers in upcountry districts. I would put it like the PDA is like part of me, let's say. I don't need to get it again from a, from a third party. Just click the button, information comes. I had to look for somebody up there to consult. If I have the PDA there, I just check and see what to do. Because I'm the first person to see all the patients coming in the hospital. I have to do what I can according to the PDA. You have a variety of ideas and if you are not sure, at least you, you can refer and be sure. The medical profession is one that is entirely dependent on reliable information. There is no guesswork. There has to be empirical evidence. For instance, if, if you go somewhere and find an epidemic, automatically you come and you report it to the officials. I used to run out of stocks because I couldn't monitor my drug outputs. The patient travels 10, 15 kilometers for the drug and you say, maybe, oh, I'm very sorry this is out of stock because I was unable to foresee or look at your appointment date. And in case I'm going for a workshop or meetings, I can click and get the information and present smart data. At first, it was hard to me, but with time, I was trained by my colleagues and got the tips of how to use it, but now I am no longer getting problems. The PDAs work together with other pieces of equipment called access points. The wireless access points make cellular calls to the server and the server routes that this has the right destination and it's a complete loop. The African access points would have schedules set up with a server in your uh, ministry or your major health center and this data would be synchronized according to the schedule. Our AAP is configured with the desktop, there are addresses within the desktop which are connected to Uganda Chartered Health Net. I just scroll here, I look for an icon called documents to go, then it brings my list of files. The information that is required of health workers for reporting purposes is monthly, weekly, uh, epidemiological data. We have now created the forms like a child health, ch uh, child with HIV. So we produce these graphs to health workers just to evaluate the performance, our performance, and do some interventions. Power is uh, definitely an issue, recharging the PDAs and recharging the access pointers. If you overuse this PDA, you may find that there is a power problem whereby the power just goes very, very quickly. And so we must rely on um, solar power solutions. The quality of the signal is relatively poor and it results in dropped calls and so on. It hangs. They, they, t they tell you no message received. So as a result, the transmission of information to the ministry has been interrupted a lot. So we are now using external antennas, very low cost external antennas that cost between 15 to 20 US dollars to boost the GPRS signal. If you have to beam information, you've got to travel and you know go to where the AAP is. Because access points are not installed at each and every health center, so multiple health centers, health workers coming from those health centers must travel to the closest African access point 
So uh, health workers ask for more uh, access points and so we, we are currently discussing with Ministry of Health. Electronic data capture and electronic networks to send and, and, and receive data um, has, has gotten the level of acceptance where the Ministry of Health is looking at becoming an active partner in this uh, project going forward. As I said earlier, there is a problem. Somebody has to solve the problem. Fortunately, we are supporting the Ministry of Health to do this work. If they had the, all the resources they need, they would have done it. But because they don't, non-government organizations like us come in. So, it's a job that somebody has to do. And we find ourselves there.